the moment under attack for the way I work. My process, if you'd like to call it that, has always been gathering up information as I go through life, experiences, opinions, and I've always believed that insight was bringing myself to a set of facts, so bringing my own personal interpretation. Increasingly, I'm finding my interpretation and my own personal point of view is much less popular than the fact. People are mistaking facts for insight and instinct and empathy and intuition are just not valued. And to the extent where I actually think they're being vilified in that they are being degraded. They are not given the proper respect that I think that they used to have in our business. The danger is that uh, people are under so much pressure to uh, measure that they just jump at what is easy to measure rather than really counting what counts. I think what's important is to understand what your objectives are and to understand how your communications then supports those objectives. If you then think about that, then actually it's natural how you're understanding the metrics that will support those uh, objectives will, will follow through and to then how that then supports your overall uh, business goals and to measure business impact. I actually think it's a responsibility of people to try and get a balance between art and science. It's something that we really need to take seriously. And one of the ways of doing that is mutual respect. I think it's really important that the more arty and esoteric and instinctive respect the data and that should obviously go the other way as well. And I think there are simple ways to make sure that we get that balance. And one way, for example, is to insert the humanity into data. And a nice way of doing that is always, don't just look at a set of numbers, look for the story, see yourself in it. How do you feel about it? What is it saying about you? And just simply use human language. So rather than talking about a sample, talk about this group of mothers and immediately you're bringing art and humanity into science. So I think it's a case of getting the balance right and the balance, the best way to get the balance right is really to get uh, the blend of skill sets uh, in a team. So rather than just relying on it uh, to get it all right yourself, to bring in the right expertise, uh, to bring in people that understand data and how to interpret that data, but also to bring in the people that are, are on the creative side and are able to understand how to uh, produce the right content to influence audiences. It's by bringing the two together that you really get the best blend.